Sorry? I think it was uh, uh, maybe less spectacular than yesterday. We had a bit problem to start and uh, to get going. And, uh, but overall, it was a, a good performance uh, where our technical level was good, our passing was good, maybe our final ball sometimes, and uh, our finishing was not top. But uh, uh, in the first half, uh, in the second half, we defended higher and gave them many more problems than, than in the first, where we defended a bit too deep. But overall, uh, it was two good days. Another goal for Theo, and uh, I'm not surprised by that because I play him through the middle. So I'm always said that uh, he's, uh, he's, a, he's a goal scorer because he has a movement, he has a, the timing of the finishing, the speed for the finishing, he has an eye for, for taking his chances at the right moment. And when he gets into this position, uh, in these positions, he can finish well. Yesterday, he nearly scored when he came on. Today, he scored. That shows that uh, I believe that uh, he will score goals still. So backing up your assessment, you don't necessarily need to sign another goal scorer. Well, uh, you know, uh, I can understand these uh, questions because we are in the transfer period, but I can only repeat what I already said. And I would not like it uh, to be too detrimental to just watch the game and enjoy the game that you see. Has he signed a new deal? Has Theo signed a new deal? Not yet, but uh, we're getting closer and closer. And uh, hopefully we can finalise it uh, very soon. Theo, although he's scoring goals, he's still not totally clinical, is he? There's still times when he goes through and you think he could maybe improve on that. Yes, he has his own uh, way as well, you know, he, he's, uh, I believe he's uh, not uh, what you call the aggressive striker, he's a mobile striker and uh, uh, the striker who lives from the quality of his movement and the quality and the speed of his movement and uh, so, uh, but he turns up in the right space in the box. And that means he, you cannot give that to player. He anticipates well, he understands quickly. And linked with his speed of execution, it makes him always very dangerous. Theo's so obviously been very, um, been very versatile, isn't he? He plays off the, off the front, Theo. Mm. Um, so where, how, where do you view his, his, his strongest position now as the game is developed? Uh, it's, it's a good question because it's a complicated answer. <laughs> <laughs> I think in all the three positions, if you ask him where he loves to play, I believe that even he uh, is not, depends a little bit on the period. You know, sometimes he prefers left. Some, when I played him sometimes left, uh, he likes it as well because when he makes a good run, he can score goals as well. In the middle, I, I think, uh, in his idea, he would love to play with a strong guy next to him, uh, you know, uh, uh, a player who is very strong physically, and uh, him, he playing off him. But we have so many offensive players that it's very difficult to combine all these players together. Can I ask you about the young man? Do you plan to keep him here this season? Or yeah, definitely here. He's 17 years old. You know, and uh, uh, he looks very promising. And uh, but he needs to work with us now for for a year with the first team to be in and out to play with the under twenty one and uh, to develop. You know, he has a is a fantastic potential there. But he, he will stay with us. Awesome. You've had a lot of pre-seasons. The results and the performances and the, the lack of injuries going into this season, is it the best pre-season you can remember? Look, the pre-season is to prepare to be efficient during the Premiership. So come back in one month and I will tell you, uh, the preparation is mentally good, physically as well, but the real truth starts on the 8th of August against West Ham here 
and that's where we want to be efficient. But the preparation has gone well so far. How much do you see Adelaide playing this season, Arsene, for the first team? How much do you see him playing Adelaide? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. But uh, uh, it was for me a good opportunity to watch him today. He, in some situations, of course, he has the, uh, the game of a 17-year-old player. But on, on the other hand, uh, he's shown uh, great potential as well. And uh, he looks very advanced physically for his age. And uh, I'm sure that he has learned a lot from uh, these two days. Can I ask a very brief thing about Czech? I mean, I know he didn't have a great deal to do, but he seems to bring some assurance. Yeah, he's a good... Uh, he is a top level uh, on the experience front, but as well, he's a good communicator. And uh, he brings a sort of calmness as well in uh, the way he responds to the situation that uh, will help to lift the level of confidence of our defenders. Can I ask you about uh, Gabriel? You said at the start of last season you weren't sure he'd completely settled in England. Are you ready now to play him? Yeah, he's, uh, he played well today. We have. Uh, you know, I I, uh, I believe that we have four centre backs of top level, Chambers as well. For me, uh, you know, I played them today. It was a difficult game for the central defenders today. Both of them did very well. Thank okay, you. thank you.